welcome to my channel today. This is Mark the Tech Guy with Vlogs Weekly number 21. So this week you may notice that I'm not in my car today. I am sitting in front of my desk at the computer. So I thought I would vlog from here today just to change it up a little bit and to see if you guys like this better than me vlogging in my car. So go ahead and post in the comments down below and let me know if you like this or not. So I'm going to get right into it with you guys. Now last week I was talking about the Green Poison Jailbreak and that it was supposed to be released within the next few days, within a week. And it's been a week and it has not been released yet. Now there is some people out there to claim that they do have the Jailbreak, but it is a fake. Let me tell you, it is a fake because when you go to it, it has a survey that you have to complete and then you know, you have to give it your cell phone number and then it charges you a few dollars to send you the results of the survey you took or the quiz. And that's how they make their money off you. So trust me when I say this, that the Green Poison Jailbreak, when it does come out, it will be totally free. So what this does is it allows them to charge and make some money and also to put a corrupt file on your phone where they can go ahead and steal all your information. So please do not download this fake green poison jailbreak. I will go ahead and post it when it's out and I will post it on my Twitter, I will post it on, on YouTube, I will post it so that you guys know and where you can get this when it comes out. So if you want to follow me on Twitter it's twitter.com slash mark the tech guy and I will post it there and I will make a video as well to let you guys know when you can get this and where you can download this so to move on um, you know now here in Canada we are happy to announce that we now have Netflix here in Canada now Netflix has been available in the States for quite some time now and we've been waiting patiently to get it here in Canada. So now it is here, and you can get it for the Wii, you can get it for the PS3, but it is not on Xbox Live just yet. I was on the website, and it says it will be coming soon. So I think Xbox Live really dropped the ball on this one, because people that own either the Wii console or the PS3 console well, go ahead and install it because they've been waiting for Netflix for quite some time now. So, Xbox Live, if you're listening to this, you know, you guys really dropped the ball on this one. And, you know, I'm going to wait anyway to get it on Xbox Live because I want to wait so that it's a better experience on the Xbox Live. So, with that said, you know, I think it's $8 a month that you guys can pay here in Canada to have Netflix and you can watch movies and, uh, you know, TV shows. So that is great news that we now have Netflix. And uh, so this week here in Canada, it is Thanksgiving. And uh, I want to know what you guys like to eat on Thanksgiving. Do you guys like turkey, ham? Or roast beef. Now, what is your favorite part of the meal? And uh, let me tell you what mine is. Mine is the stuffing. I love the stuffing and I love the eggnog. Now, the eggnog comes out here in Canada about a week before Thanksgiving. It goes away after Thanksgiving and then comes back out just before Christmas. Now, I want to know if you guys have a favorite recipe of eggnog that you would like to share with me or post in the comments down below and share with everybody. So you can private message me that, or you can email it to me at markthetechguy at live.ca, or just post in the comments down below if you if you'd like to everybody to get that recipe, because you know people like it with rum, people like it with you know uh, cinnamon, people put all kinds of different stuff in their eggnog, and I would just like to get a, a bunch of recipes so I can try them out for myself. 
So, with that said, last week, uh, this week, I was looking on CNET Crave, where it, this is a very unique story that they have on their website. And let me just read it to you here, um, what it's all about. Now, it says here, man proposes via fake iPhone ad, watch and weep. Now, what this was, was, I don't know if the guy was a developer of an app, but uh, it was very well put together. And he goes through a bunch of apps, you know, writing and texting, and then there's pictures, um, all kinds of stuff. He starts out with the drums on his fingers, and it was very cool. And it actually sounded like the iPhone guy's voice at the beginning, so it actually looked like an iPhone ad. So I'm going to post the links to the video down below in the description, so you guys go watch the video for yourself, come back and comment, and tell me what you thought of the video, because it was very unique. And you know, at the end, he, he writes in a text message, will you marry me? And then he brings up a picture of a ring on the phone. So it was very cool. And go check it out. Come back and comment and let me know what you thought of the video. Because they know a lot of guys, you know, they propose to their, you know, girlfriends. And sometimes it doesn't work out, you know, the way they thought it would. You know, they're, you know you've seen the videos out there where the guy proposes to his girlfriend in front of 20,000 people at a basketball game on the Jumbotron, and he gets down on one knee and pulls out the ring and asks her to marry him, and then she runs off. Now, that must be the worst feeling in the world, to be standing, to be there, down on one knee, proposing to her, and then she just runs off. You know, that's why you got to have some nerve to get up there and do this, because it's, you know... It's not what it's cracked up to be. And uh, I just thought it was a very, very unique way of proposing to her. And I don't know if this guy is a developer or he works for Apple or whatever because he seems like he had everything just in the right place. You know, he had the announcer guy that's actually in, you know, the, the iPhone commercials. So I don't know how he worked that out. It seems like he put a lot of hours into it, that's for sure. So, with that said, um, I would like to thank you guys for watching Vlogs Weekly number 21. This has been Mark the Tech Guy saying please rate, thumbs up, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. Do you know